It's this time the gentlewoman from Wyoming is recognized. Uh, I reserve, Madam Speaker. The gentlewoman reserves her time. The gentleman from Indiana is recognized. I owe Mr. Jordan. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding. The majority leader just a few minutes ago said, use the term danger to our democracy. Danger to our democracy. Think about this. Democrats have closed the Capitol, allowed proxy voting, kicked Republicans off committee, won't let Republicans serve on this select committee. First time in the history of the Congress, the minority leader was not allowed to put on a select committee the individuals he or she selected. First time in the history of our nation. Democrats are trying to end the Electoral College, trying to end the filibuster, trying to pack the court. This committee, the January 6th committee, altered evidence and presented to the American people as if it were true. And they accuse us of being a danger to our democracy? Mr. Gates was right. We got a border that is complete chaos. We have $6 gas in California, $4 gas everywhere else in the country. We have crime at record levels in every major urban area in this nation. And we have an inflation problem that's at a 40-year high. And this committee has more contempt resolutions for a purely political reason. I think the whole committee is purely political, designed to do one thing, keep President Trump off the ballot in 2024. The gentlelady from Wyoming in her opening comments used the term false message. False message, she used to say big lie, now I guess it's false message. And I just jotted, I, I thought when she said I started jotting things down. False, think about all the false messages we've got from them in the last few years. They told us the protests in the summer of 2020 were peaceful got a billion dollars worth of damage around our cities that says it wasn't. They told us the dossier was real. They told us it was Republicans, Republicans who wanted to defund the police. That's almost laughable if it wasn't so serious for our law enforcement and for the families who live in those areas where, where mayors and city councils did defund the police. They told us the FBI didn't spy on the Trump campaign. We know that wasn't true. We got Inspector General reports to tell us all kinds of things about what they did in front of the FISA court. They said Trump colluded with Russia. We got a Mueller report. 19 lawyers, 40 FBI agents, 30 million hard-earned American tax dollars in that report that said that false message was just that false. They told us COVID didn't start in the lab. Sure looks like it did. They told us the lab wasn't doing gain-of-function research. Sure looks like it was. They told us the vaccinated can't get it. We know that's wrong. Every day there's a new announcement. A member of Congress is getting it. Fully vaccinated, boosted everything else. They told us the vaccinated can't transmit. They told us that was wrong. And you talk about the biggest false message, the biggest false message that's just been confirmed in the last week, how false it was. The Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation. The Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation. October 22nd, 2020, two weeks before the election, candidate Biden, in a debate, is asked about his son's business dealings with foreign companies. He says, quote, nothing was unethical. He said, my son had not made money, has not made money with business interests from, from, with companies with an interest in China. And we all know there are 4.8 million reasons why that statement was not accurate. And how do we know? Washington Post told us. Not me, not President Trump, not Republicans. The Washington Post told us last week, two stories last week, a week ago today. One at 11 a.m., one at 11.04 a.m. Two eight-page articles, four minutes apart, confirming what we knew, but what big media Big tech, Democrats colluded to keep from the American people just days before, just days before the most important election we have, the presidential election, who's going to be our next commander in chief? The laptop was real, the eyewitness was real, the emails were real. The only thing fake was that collusion from those individuals, those entities, to keep important information from we the people in the run up to the most important election we have. And oh, by the way, they were joined by 51 former intel officials joined in the collusion. You know what's also interesting? It's funny how that story has changed. 18 months ago, started off, wasn't his laptop, quickly switched to, well, it was his laptop, but it was Russian disinformation. And now it is, well, it wasn't Russian disinformation, but Joe Biden had nothing to do with it. Now it was, well, Joe knew what was going on, but he wasn't really involved in anything, anything wrong. Ron Klain told us that, Chief of Staff told us that Sunday. We need to be focused on the issues that the American people want us to focus on. If you want to talk about 
danger to our democracy and the biggest false message. I would say what happened, one of the biggest dangers to our democracy and one of the biggest false messages is what happened 18 months ago where that story was kept from the American people. We could dig into that, find out what went on there, why that happened. And we could also focus on the record crime, record inflation, record price of gas, and the chaos on our southern border that's about to get worse, about to get worse as the Democrats, as the Democrats look to, as the Biden Gentlemen's recognized for 30, 30 more seconds. I urge a no vote, yield back. Gentleman from Indiana Reserves.